Hello and welcome to the channel. Today's going to be awesome because we've got Max Fosh, an incredible YouTuber in. He's a, definitely a foodie, but not necessarily much of a cook. So we thought perfect opportunity to test our normal home cooks verbal communication skills together can they cook up something super impressive? I think you and I both know this won't necessarily go to plan. Right, so this is happening. Max, Hello. are you ready for this? I am indeed. I've also just realized that when, before, you, before you put your blindfolds on, when Jamie's got his glass on, I realize I'm the perfect mixture of Jamie and Bats just to, <laughs> together. With a little bit of height thrown in. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and a little bit of Ben as well somewhere, but not the cooking. Right, should we start? Well, we've got 30 minutes on the clock. During the cooking process, you are gonna have access to two lifelines. You can have Barry in the kitchen for five minutes, and you can have me in the kitchen for five minutes. You're welcome. We're going to start cooking in... Whoa! There's, there's no thinking time. No. There's no thinking time. We're going to start cooking in three, oh, no. two, one, cook. Right, the timer started. I'll leave it with you guys. So you, We're going to watch the time. Yeah, you watch the time. Right, so I've got Max. lots of ingredients here. There's two that I don't know what they are. Excellent. This one. Does it matter what describe it? Um, I think it's a Swede. It could be a yam. Open wide. <laughs> What's that? It's raw. I didn't have time to cook it, Barry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Max. Okay. It's it's kind of it's circular in shape. It's kind of purple at the bottom, and it's got hairs on it. Are you sure it's food? <laughs> anyway, right. Okay. Max, what's your favourite dish mm. to cook? Oh no! Don't ask me that. And do we have any of the ingredients curry. there? Curry. You right. want to make a curry? Okay, we can do, do we that. Do we do not have. We could make a venison curry. Is that thing? Yes. Venison. Curry. I like it. Yes. I mean, I like that you knew that I was coming in today, so you got venison. Oh. Posh guy, venison. Yeah. It's a match made in heaven. <laughs> it also says this product may contain lead shot. <laughs> I wonder how you got this. Wild. Okay, so am I cooking the venison first? Am I just kind of pan frying the venison? If we're making a venison curry, yeah. which is a very normal thing to make, then what we need is like a curry paste to we've, start with. We've got basmati rice. Perfect. We've got chicken stock yeah. with yeah. venison. Okay, chicken sure. stock. Yeah. Onions. Yeah, yes. Onion. What's the base of a curry? Onion, garlic is the base of everything. Have we got any ginger there? You've Ooh. got ginger. Yes. Ginger. Yeah, yeah, ginger's fine. We've We've got some halloumi. Why not? Like, or like, you We've got some near. soft yeah. cheese. No, that's weird. What about like halloumi and venison kebabs okay. on a curry? On a curry. On a curry. Well, like, with curry. Curry spice. We've got twiglets. Can venison we get, can we get, and cheesy. Can we get twiglets kebabs? involved? If, if you're feeling like, peckish, like yeah. a dusting of twiglets. <laughs> Crushed no, twiglets? We have twiglets. For seasoning. Okay. We've also got port. It, it, we probably should just make a posh thing, shouldn't we? Yeah. Port and venison. When in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a pan out. Um, where are they? Uh, they're in that cupboard over there. Ah, they are. Yes. Yep. How big? The cupboard's like a standard size, no, I suppose. No, the bag. <laughs> right. I'm going to use my lifeline now, literally, just to tell me what to cook. Who, who do you want? A Baz. Okay. No! Right, let's Literally, go. Let's tell go. me what we're cooking. Oh, you've done nothing. I know. Okay, right, chop yeah. an onion. And I will grate some ginger. Baz. Hey, mate. Can you explain to me what the concept is so I can help yeah, I'm, out? Yeah, I'm working it out. Describe to me your vision, Jay. Right. Blindfolded. We need like a, cur a yogurt curry paste. Curry spices, okay. ginger, garlic course, course. into the yogurt. And then you're going to quarter some onion. Yeah, quarter them. Make some venison the same size. Thread them onto sticks and then coat them, or do it the other way around. Yes, coat all of that in your yogurt mixture, then thread them onto sticks, get them under the grill. Yeah, great, great, that sounds amazing, mate. Chuck them straight in the pan. Garlic, 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 garlic. That needs to be searing hot. What do you mean that needs to be searing hot? Oh, I'm not saying I'm just gonna ignore Jamie's advice, just start chucking things into a pan. Yeah, why not? Cool. I can't um, help if I'm in the dark. So, have you cooked curries at home before? Um, no. Why did you pick curry? <laughs> you picked curry! <laughs> well, what's, what's your favourite dish at home? You said curry. Did I? Yes, this is your doing. Um, uh, oil, breast? oil, oil. This is a ridiculous idea. This is great. I'm we have so no much time. Fun. I'm, I'm an agent of chaos. Okay, right. Venison. Yeah. I know what I'm doing Chop with the venison. <laughs> So, Jamie, I'm going to be honest with you. I was worried it might take us longer than 25 minutes. Right. So, what I'm doing is I'm taking most of the things that you said and just getting them to a pan and cooking so we can make a Fine. chunky curry sauce of sorts. Keep shimmy. That sounds like it's burning. That is burning, mate. Well, yeah, I told you to keep an eye on it. Lance, you've got one and a half minutes left in the kitchen. Make it work. Blister, blister, blister. We need to put some liquid in that, some spices. Jamie, what spice oh, are we do have curry? access to spices. Garam yeah. masala, curry powder. Nope. 
What do you mean no? Chili powder. Tomato paste. Let's get that in there. What Cook happened it to out. the ingredients over here? Well, you, if in doubt, ask Coach for more. Just chuck that in. Right, can someone explain to me what's happening? So we put onions, we put garlic in a pan. I'm just adding chili powder to it. Baz, you're out. Okay. Wait. You're done. Time's up. The good <laughs> That is really spicy. Did I put too much in? <laughs> if you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video. Subscribe if you aren't. Click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. The good thing is, guys, we've got the basmati rice that cooks in two minutes. <laughs> that might be the only <laughs> edible thing of this. Should I put the ginger in? 17 minutes left. Yeah, ginger in. You had five minutes in the kitchen. All I need to hear from you is that you were proud of your contribution. Right, Max, what's next? Oh, my um, God. What, what, what wet thing can I put in it? I can chop tomatoes and some... Coconut cream? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Oh, nice. Yep. Whole thing? Go, go by eye. Go by eye. That's not a good idea. Yeah, but you're the only one with eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what's making that noise? The coconut. Why is it so hot? Ooh, yeah, Take that that's... off the heat. It looks pretty uh, curry. Yeah, good. I reckon get our venison in that pan now. I just hate you, didn't I? Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm here, I'm here, it's right. Um, I think if we fry the venison off in butter first. Use your outside voices, boys, I can't hear you. Why don't we add some spice to the venison itself? What does it matter? It's going into it really spicy curry. It really doesn't matter. Curry. You know, like you have if chicken tikka. If you're teacup. Jamie, you just put the meat into these buttery Can pans. I put rosemary in the, in the venison? Yeah, Absolutely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> When have you ever had rosemary in a curry, Barry? Exactly. That's exactly why we should do it. Max, we've done so many of these time challenges. Yeah. And they are so hard. Oh, God. So I'm so grateful that you're the one in the kitchen instead of me. Me I'm too, mate. Me <laughs> too. So I think you just want to sear the outside of the venison. Oh, it needs to be on this pan, doesn't it? it would yeah. help. Right, I'm putting more coconut yeah. cream in there. Uh, is there any other liquid that I should put in there? I've got butter. Tell you what, taste it. Toast yeah, it? Taste it. Oh. <laughs> How are we looking? Happy? I don't know what that needs, but it needs a lot. <laughs> Did you know the average two-person household wastes 30 pounds per month just by throwing away food they've already bought? That's 360 quid a year in the bin. We've all done it. We made an app that fixes exactly that and more. Sorted Sidekick. Cook better, waste less, save more. Try it. It's free for 30 days and it's brilliant. Can we get a time check? 12 minutes and 45 seconds. Ah. Right. I think I'm actually going to need another lifeline, so Jay yes. gets to come in. So that's what we've got. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's weird, yeah. It's very coconutty, very bitterly spicy. Burn? Is that what you're looking for? What we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit more sweetness to that. If we just put this here, and then what we'll do is we'll just add some cream cheese into it, yeah. along with a little bit of the port. Oh, yeah. We're going to go mushrooms. Mushrooms? Yep, yeah, yeah. Some... Well, I've got the port open. Port is open. Right. Buddy. These are such a great hack. They're already fried for you, so you can just heat them up rather than having to dice an onion. Right, let's... Doing great, Jamie. Let's slice up right. this. Yeah. What are you doing? Harry Kruger, you want one? Are you OK, right. <laughs> yes, I would love one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that seems like quite a lot. Quite a lot. Too, oh, yeah, quite a lot. Right, so we're putting that in. Yeah, when, so, when those... so it's a slightly different idea to the one that we had. Yeah. What happened is Barry screwed you over. What oh, I'm trying to do that. is save something. So let's get a little bit of butter in there yeah. as well to fry those in. That'd be Jamie, are you that. using the curry at all? What we'll do nope. is Barry. Try that. <laughs> Cabal and Yep. Yeah, yummy. Yeah, it's like posh kale. Are we okay with this venison? Yeah, we're going to chuck it into here in a minute. These are frying off. Let's chuck the venison into here. Jamie, so 30, is... 30 seconds. Okay, mate. I think chop that chop, up, chop. chuck that in there. Some port. Try and set it on fire. Oh, my God. Jamie, you can't set port on fire. Yep. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's but at least we tried. It's not brandy. Okay. And, so and, what's and, next? And... The, this goes in? Yep. Right, Jay, you're out. Okay. You're done. Right. Oh my God. I feel like that kid from MasterChef who's crying whilst he's whipping at the saucepan. Um, the other thing that that's missing yeah. uh, is some paprika. Now, add some port in to deglaze the pan. It's not particularly glazed, but okay. Like, imagine we're topping up dad after a Sunday lunch and he's having a bit too much, that kind yep. of amount. Yeah, exactly. That might be a niche reference just for me. <laughs> and you want me to set this on fire? Try and set it on fire. Jamie. How's that going, Max? It's not setting on fire. Excellent, but we tried, and therefore it's going to have a little nuance of flame in there. Jamie! Two minutes, 43 seconds. Remember, the rice takes two minutes. <laughs> yes, I was thinking that. <laughs> okay, it's just got to be the cream cheese in next. Are there any pretty herbs that we can... Just you two. <laughs> we can do this. 
Max, you've gone quiet on us. Shh. What's he doing? Chopping something. Oh no, is Max getting creative? <laughs> rice is done. Right, how do you want to plate it? Do you want like a bed of rice? I don't know, we've, I think we've got about 45 seconds left. Just okay. chuck it on a plate. Yeah. Get it on a plate. A pocket of rice. <laughs> did you, did you, sorry, Max. Did you do the squeezy Scored. thing? <laughs> Can I put the rice in the stroganoff? I don't think 25 that's seconds, help. do whatever, I, I, just do on the plate. Separately, have them separately. Too late. I'm a big fan of just like, you know, everything together. 10, oh, no. 9, nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Step away from the plate. <laughs> Boys, you want to have a peek at what you collectively did? I'm really sorry. No, don't be sorry. I, I, we, we've I, thrown you into this now. I mean, I think there should be some responsibility that lies with me as well, because it's not like I'm a total idiot. No. It's a team effort. Yeah, that's true. It's a team Tony idiot. 66% of the team <laughs> is literally blind. <laughs> oh. I think what you've ended up with is a venison, rosemary and port stroganoff-esque using cream cheese rather than sour cream with rice. Should we try it? Yeah. Cheers. I think, given the handicap of blindfolds, miscommunication, mm. Mm. and only 30 minutes, but the first five of those you were just talking and then you completely changed <laughs> your mind about 15 minutes in, mm. I think that is a, actually a really good plate of food that everyone would happily demolish. I would cook that for myself. I wouldn't mm. serve that to anyone. Mm. <laughs> That's what it is. I've had that before at home. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't come in and go, guess what I made? <laughs> <laughs> and you're still chewing through venison. Right. I think if you were... The venison is so yeah. chewy. Yeah. yeah. I did say it's, it's over, but you're like, no, put it... You literally, I roll it back, <laughs> and Jamie literally turning it the whole back on. Jamie! Oh, right, yeah. If you were to make that from scratch, now you knew what you were aiming for, you'd yeah. cook the venison layer, you'd yeah. add a lot more of the kale, and you'd season it. Otherwise, that is a really smart idea from the ingredients you had. <laughs> And it's tasty, right? <laughs> I'm such a liability. I think that's one of the toughest challenges we've had. That challenge was almost as tough as that venison. <laughs> we haven't discussed one very, very vital ingredient. I twiglets. Which is just umami, right? Mm. It's just got that umami tang. <laughs> twiglets on it. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell you it was there, but it doesn't offend the dish. No. Twiglets, baby. Barry, this is what you cooked. No, up. no, 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 no. This is what I started. We didn't finish it. That is so bad. <laughs> I think you made the right decision to change tact. <laughs> really so creepy. Bad. That was the right decision to be left aside. And that, I think, was a pretty good success. Well, oh, thank you. Tweaks, little tweaks yeah, here and there. Little tweaks. More pretty twiglets. Damn good. More twiglets. More twiglets. Well, Max, thank you very, very much for coming into this strange little world of ours. I hope you had a good time. I actually had a wonderful time. I, I, yeah, I was. I probably could have taken it slightly more seriously because I was just having so much fun just messing it up. <laughs> Make sure you go and give Max some love. Give, give his channel a follow. His stuff is amazing. Very much. Probably not many people that appreciate a port sipper. Oh, oh yeah. And I yeah. <laughs> good two of you. Get a room. Look at it. Cheers. Cheers. Port venison. I feel like you were kind Tastes of at home. like home. <laughs> <laughs>